Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David N. Ark, and today we're going to be taking a look at the various new pigeons and the new widgeons and see who can fly down the ski jump. So we're starting off with whoops, the Pigeon Plus, which is the four wheel drive pigeon. Oh, we got the over rev risk. We're going to blow an engine before we get there. And now we've turned into a coasting pigeon machine. It is actually doing quite well. About 150 miles an hour off of the jump. Look at that. That is going to be beautiful. Oh, well, the landing, not so much. Oh, about 95 meters onto the ski jump landing zone. It will come to a skidding halt. Still out of control. Ugh. Into the wall. And there goes one of its tires. Boom. Up and... Oh, I thought it was going to go over the wall in the back. But no, it did not. All right. So that was the Pigeon Plus. So let's jump into the next Pigeon that we've got. The Van Plus. Because, you know, why not? Oh, look at there. A four-door little baby Pigeon Plus. All right, here we go. There we go. All right. Oh, well, once again, we're going to have over-rev action going. It means we're going to blow the engine. Listen to the pigeon hum. Sounds like a jet engine when it doesn't actually use its engines. Ooh, about 140-something miles an hour. I'm not sure it's going to make it. Oh, look at there. It does and actually lands quite beautifully. All fours, my engine oil is critically low. Yeah, I just went off a ski jump, man. What do you want? Oh, ouch, that's going to leave a mark. We're just coasting. We're definitely going to hit the wall. Ugh. <laughs> nothing like the definitive thud of a pigeon into a wall. So up next, who do we have next in the pigeon lineup? But the cool pigeon. That's right. Mr. Pigeon McCool. Look at that little dude right there. <laughs> I love the rear facing seats because you got to have that when you're in your little pigeon. Oh, here we go. More over rev action. Blow the engine around. Oh, about 130. Let's see how that fares as we go down here. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Oh, about 150. So they're all taking off at roughly the same speed. Oh, what a beautiful arc. Oh, unfortunately, man, took a little bit of a tumble in the air. And that means that the poor... <laughs> ah, the poor cool pigeon. Not so cool anymore i mean come on it, it still is i mean it, it's a pigeon with four wheels roll bars and a rear-facing bench seat it does not get much cooler than that all right it's all a matter of perspective right so let's see who's next up on the list is the rock dove which is basically like the cool with Better tires for off-roading, and I don't think this one actually has the rear-facing bench seat. Oh, and it does have nitro. Look at that. Should we engage the nitro? Sure. Why not? The nitro is armed. Uh-oh. Uh, what's up with this? What are you doing? All right, well. <laughs> the uh, rock pigeon... The Rock Dove decided it's going backwards. I don't know what this is going to do. But however, we launch at about 140-something miles an hour. Just over 140. Oh, twisting, turning. Look at that. Putting in some seriously sweet moves. Ends up on all fours after riding upside down for a little while. We're going to oh, ride the wall. Busted the axle, sent the wheel on ahead. It's into the wall. Whoa! And flying backwards. Ouch! And the dove smacks into the wall. Oh, that is so cool, man. 
Uh, I know the other one was called cool, but this one was cool. All right, here we go. What else do we have from the pigeon? We've got the dragster edition. Uh, I, I'm going to warn you. Dragsters and the ski jump arena do not play well together, generally speaking. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Ouch. Yeah, that's that's pretty par for the course. Come on, come on. Get some speed. There it is. Oh, no. Losing major speed coming off of the jump. Is it going to make it? No. Just shy of the landing zone. And that is going to be a mess. Ah. Oh, poor dragster. I, I tried to warn him. I said, you know, drag vehicles and the ski jump generally don't mix. I wasn't wrong. Who does that leave? We got one more or two more? Nope, just one more. We got the race edition. All cars deserve the chance to be a race car, even if they are taller than they are wide. Well, I don't have that problem. I'm wider than I am tall. No, that's not true, but... You know, hey, I've, I've, I've done my share. Oops. There we go. I've done my part to earn the dad bod that I've got. So, okay. This is going to be a little rough, mainly because we're scraping against this wall and that is actually slowing us down a little bit. Yeah. About 133 or so. I think this is going to also, oh. Oh, I thought we were going to clip the end of that. But no, we are just going to oh, face first into the ground. Wait a minute. <laughs> we got to see this. This is like cartoon world here. Look at that. Oh, that is, that's just not good. What happens when your pigeon goes from 3D to 2D? Oh, that is crazy. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Okay. I, I didn't open the... I, I didn't do that. Thanks. So those are the pigeons going down the ski jump. Next up, we have the widgeons. We're going to start off with the base widgeon. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and flip up the lights because I like them. This is such a weird car. I know it's based on some like James Bond thing or something. Whoa, why are we screeching tires here, dude? Let's not, let's not screech the... Um, you want to you want to come off the wall? Oh, okay, Ow. this is this is gonna be tough. We've got very little speed. Well, we were it's 150. Oh, that slam right there is going to send us way short of the landing zone and down into the ground. Let's see what happens here. I, I will admit it it does kind of float. I mean, it just it's. Comparatively speaking, it's got a nice, softer landing than many. All right. So the base widgeon did not really do well. Let's try the Sprint model. It's the four-wheel variant with improved handling, which definitely comes in handy when you are heading down the ski jump. There we go. No, no. Okay, you're supposed to have better handling. What what are you doing? The engine is starved of oil. Why? It's literally not doing anything. All right, here we go. Oops. Ah, this is not going well at all. Ugh. We didn't even make it off the jump. Okay, we're going to try this one again. Okay, I'm going to try just gunning it. And let's just see what happens. There we go. Before I was trying to, you know, take it easy and give it give it the benefit of the doubt, but oh. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is working much better. 167, 168, I think, and then we took off at about 150 something. Look at that. Oh yeah, we're gonna land on all fours. Oh no. Oh, we landed on the back two wheels. The front end slams down into the landing zone. I'll tell you what, these vehicles love to throw their wheels. What is up with that? 
I don't know, but they sure like to send the, especially the front passenger wheel off into the distance. Hey, you know what? That's why we're here. We're here to try different things. See what breaks. See what doesn't break. See what the LX can do on the ski jump arena. Again, I think our best bet, if I just gun it and go. Maybe that's what I should have done with the pigeons. Ouch. Okay, you're going to be riding the wall a little bit. It's fine. I know, we got the over-rev thing going here. Uh, 140. Oh, no. Oh, nope. That's going to be way short. Leaving the launch pad at about 110 miles an hour. And slamming down... How about a widgeon pancake? Oh yeah. That's that's gonna need a little fixing. You got a little something like well everywhere. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see. Moving on to the LX Sprint Sport Exhaust, fancy wheels, and a special livery. Special livery. Oh look at that. So cute, so ready to go. There it is. All right. Can you come down the ramp? Oh, look at that. Oh, oops. I'm steering the wrong way. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm not doing you any favors. Ouch. Sorry, that was my bad. All right, I did that. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna not even let it fall. That was, that was my fault. When it's the operator error, then the vehicle gets another shot. All right. Now, see, you are leaning. I know. You're heading off. Oof. Oh, no. Look at that. That's pretty well straight down the line. Launching off at about 148 or so. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh. Lands on the back wheels. Grab some of that front end stability. Oh, that ought to send the front wheel flying. No. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, listen, I know the front wheel's going somewhere, man. And there it is. All right. Nice. All right, next up, we're just going right down the line. We've got the Pond Skipper, the most non-threatening off-road vehicle ever created. The Pond Skipper Widgeon. From the minds of the folks at BeamNG. Now, you know this is going to blow its... Oh, no. Come on. Oh. Nope. Yeah, we, we blew the engine. Ah, this is having a hard time. Nope. Only about 130. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ripped. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to watch that again in slow motion. i got to remember to edit that. Holy cow. <laughs> that was insane. Now, for what it's worth, it looks like we're going to keep all four of our wheels. But the body just got completely ripped off of the car that was crazy oh my gosh i can't wait to go back and watch that one again whoo ah oh, that was that was nuts I, I was not expecting that to happen at all that out of the blue as far as i'm concerned i thought we were going to go under and instead i mean just ripped the body straight off of the vehicle that is exactly what we came for that is Beam NG. Ouch. In a nutshell. Come on. This is the Sprinter. I think it's what it was called. All right. Well, we're going to ride the wall. Come on. Oh, that one's about 120 something. I don't think this one's going to make it. Yeah. Sorry. The engine is off. Well, you're about to have bigger problems than an engine not running. Ooh. But we landed upright. Oh my gosh, look at that. I believe the uh, 
body has left the chassis. Oh, man. Sorry, dude. All right. What do we got next? Oh, the darter is what the other one was called. And now, finally, the Mantis. 1300cc inline four, buzzing at its heart. The canopy replaced with a roll cage. The alien insectoid mantis provides an otherworldly driving experience. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. All right. Good luck to you. I've got a feeling we're going to be sliding all over the place. This car is already hard to drive on a flat road. I can't imagine what this is going to do on this slick incline. Come on. Oh, about 126 miles an hour. Is that going to be enough to get us over? Oh! <laughs> Slam. Straight into the landing zone barrier. However, uh, I, I do believe that if if we if we work it, I might be able to pull this off. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. So the idea is to try to keep it as straight as you can. And I know that's how this works, but... Oh, yeah, 151. Somewhere in there. Look at that. Uh-oh. We're flying. We're sailing. We're falling. Ooh, landed on that front quarter panel. That is going to be a mess. We've thrown two wheels. There goes one. There goes the other one. Oh. And all kinds of pieces and parts laying about. But, honestly, worse for wear, it's not in bad shape. I mean, I'm sure the G-forces would have killed us, but not bad at all. All right, so there you go. The line of pigeons and widgeons here on... Whoops. The ski jumping arena track in beam ng drive got any problems questions problems suggestions horror stories feel free to leave those down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching special thanks to hero of god gamer go and ouch los wilco for supporting me on patreon you can check that out patreon.com slash david in art again thank you so much for watching I appreciate it so much, and we will see you next time on Beam NG Drive. The engine oil's low. Dude, I'm on fire. Psh, engine oil.